Hi everyone, Greg's Kitchen Time once again, and today I'm making a recipe using one of my favourite meats, Spam. No, <laughs> not the one that's in your inbox on your Gmail. <laughs> it's Spam, the meat. It's a super awesome meat, and today I'm mixing it with some eggs to make a delicious Spam and Egg omelette bun. It sounds pretty good, huh? Well, let me show you how to make it, because it's really easy. So, first things first, grab your saucepan, even though that's a frying pan, and we'll whack it on and we'll turn it up to a medium heat. We don't want it too hot because otherwise you'll burn these eggs. Right, let's make some space because next I need to crack my can of Spam. Mm, it smells like dog food, doesn't it? And it looks like it as well. So I'll be using about a third of a can of Spam. It's one of those recipes where you just use as much as you want or as much as you need. If you don't like it that much, then don't use as much. Or don't use it at all, use some ham or something else. So let's grab our Spam in our hand, put it in a bowl, and grab your Greg's Kitchen fork, now available on iTunes, and we'll just mush this up. Yeah, puppy, 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 puppy. <laughs> That's what it looks like, doesn't it? Mmm, yeah. I love the taste of Spam. The Spam is so easy to swallow too. Oh yeah, that's right, I had to cut an onion. So grab yourself an onion. And again, it's up to you how much you use. Oh, this is only a pretty small onion, so I'll use about half of this. And I just want to dice it into little tiny pieces. Watch your fingers. And let's throw this in here as well. And next, let's grab our huevos. <laughs> the eggs I'm talking about, not the webos you're thinking of. And we'll add both those. Oh. One. <laughs> and two. And let's mix this all together. Now if you want to add some pepper or something into there, please do. In, in fact, I've got some garlic powder here. Why don't I add a little bit of that in, just for that garlicky goodness. Keep mixing that around. Now, for this recipe, I'm using a bun here, or as we call them in Australia, bread rolls. This is a hot dog bun I'm using. You could use like a round bun or a roll or whatever you want, really. But anyway, what I need to do is cut this in half down the side and fold it out. Make sure you don't split it. You want to keep it intact. Now, hopefully this is warmed up to a medium heat. Oh, yes, nice and medium. So now let's add our mixture into the pan. Here, yeah, puppy, 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 puppy. And we need to spread this out and make it the same shape as whichever bun or roll that you're using. So, yep, yep, that's about the same. It probably needs to come out a little bit further on the ends here. And we put this straight on now and push it down, making sure that you soak up that egg that's sitting on the top, that raw egg, and any loose bits, we just push those back inside. No one will notice. Make sure you keep pushing down though on the bread to make sure the egg is getting soaked up into the bread. And actually, if you've got some stale bread or stale rolls or something, it's a good way to use that up because this way, this technique actually softens the bread that you're using. So while that's still cooking, there's something else I do want to add. Some butter. I'm dangerously low in it. But I'll scrounge out what I can find. And let's spread it over the top. Oh yeah. This is nature's own MSG. So let's make sure it's not all sticking to the frying pan, which it isn't. Awesome, it's moving around nicely. And we want to cook that for two or three minutes until the underneath is nicely cooked. But you will notice it's still runny a bit on the top there, which is why we have to flip this over. Shouldn't be too hard for a man with my skill, so let's whip this in and just flip it over. Mm, yum. We'll push that down, and this will get the egg that the bread soaked up cooking inside. And toast the bread that we spread that butter on too. Yes! Now this kind of looks a bit dry, so you know what it needs. Something moist, like your favourite sauces. So, which sauces will I get today to add on top? Hmm. Ah, well, of course there's one sauce that's always got to go on. 
mayonnaise. Oh, and I've also got some uh, some green sauce, some green chili sauce here. Let's throw that on too. Oh yeah, I can see some nice darkness underneath. So I reckon that's cooked. So let's whip this off. Oh, look at this one-handed. Ah, yes. Now let's add some mayo on there. Oh yeah. And some green chili sauce. That looks interesting. Which like I just blew my nose. <laughs> so now all we need to do is close this up and boom. There you have it. The Spam and Egg Omelette. Oh, how good does it look? I can't wait to try it. So let's tuck on in for the old Spam and Egg Omelette on a bun with lots of other stuff. Taste test. How about we cut it open so we can see what it looks like inside. Mmm, yum. All right, let's dive on in because the battery on the camera's going flat. Oh, oh man. Mmm, it's so good. It's really warm, it's crunchy. It's just comfort food at its best. What did you reckon about it? Looks pretty good, huh? If you're gonna make it, let me know down below. Remember to subscribe for more and click hello. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time right here on Greg's Kitchen. Oh yeah, this is Greg's Kitchen. But today I made a Spam and Egg Omelette. How easy was it to do? And how good's it looking, I tell you what it tastes.